Guten Abend, thank you very much for joining me once again. This is the MPD Gamer and uh, welcome back to Until Dawn. Uh, just got back to the little cabin in the middle of nowhere on a mountain for return. I personally am very skeptical about this I whole idea. Wow, what? <sighs> Damn it. Nice. Let's try and climb over a giant fucking gate. Oh, Jesus, never mind. That's... Okay, climbing over the wall rather than over the gate. But let's go for the safe route. The quick route is probably going to have an accident. With all of this focusing on individual bits, I'm expecting her to drop. It's a bit of a surprise. Expecting bits of the wall to actually crumble away. Good landing. Hmm. I need to try and keep as much attention to the edges as I can. Aww. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? I do not like this bit as well. <laughs> Cutie. I got to do do not move sections. So, <laughs> so I've got to try and avoid trembling when certain situations result in me being terrified of shot. But I'm trying to keep as much attention as I can to the edges just in case there's another totem lying around. Because that would be quite useful. Looks like it. <laughs> cool. Looks like there's another totem. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. That's quite disturbing. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. Obviously it's the guy that was in the psychiatrist's office. Chris? You here? A moment ago. Rather than saying if he actually was. I'm going to sleep. Aha! Look who it is. He knows it. Chris. Hmm. Interesting. What's the betting that actually doesn't have a crush from him? I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. This does not sound good. 
sounds very sinister, very creepy, and very stupid. Oh man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. It sounds like that might be the guy who has the flames wrong. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties! Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, you, uh. you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. Interesting. I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Am I going to have to shoot this girl? That's not nice. But I will. <laughs> right through the head. Oh, that's quite good. Cool. What are you doing? How could you do that? Chris, that is so effed up! What? That poor little guy was alive about 10 seconds ago! Oh, come on. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I, can I mean, they're adorable, but... Ah! Oh, oh my god, what is that? Get it away! <sighs> Jesus, are, are you okay? This mountain is freaking me out already. Hey, Most hey, entirely surprising. Cable car is coming. Let's grab our ride. So I've already changed characters. <laughs> this guy doesn't have any gloves. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here it just all came flooding back. Man, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Just a tad. But let's face it, this whole thing is creepy as all shit. It's quite a nice board there. Car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. Hotel and sanitarium. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. Family bought a mountain. Anything good on here? If I had to guess, I'd say no, but better safe than sorry. This is the cable car. You coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but. She does not seem dressed for this kind of vessel. That skirt. The leggings doesn't seem particularly winter wear.
I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone. I don't think so. Same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. No surprises. The kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, that's incredibly boring to this day. Instruction story. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Ah. Uh... That's going to be a bit of a scene, plus this whole thing isn't just... That's going to make things a little interesting, and rather repetitive. Ah, who's this bitch? Hmm. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. I wonder how this is going to go. <gasps> what the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? I guess the feeling she wasn't exactly in over inclined, but, you know. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My You can't help it. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. No, you can't. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. It's quite impressive. To, get it, to just stop and take it all in. But I don't think standing around and staring is a good idea. The lodge, like right where the cable car ends. Oh, this is going to be awkward. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. <laughs> this is going to be an extremely awkward. Yeah. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Right at the other end. There you're not. <sighs> Getting chills. We're almost there. You no, pretentious can see the snobby out. bitch. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, of course not. What do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Bit of a prick. Let's face it. 
you guys. This Michael. is definitely a fixing video. Really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Go up in the woods. Harmless. Spooky. Yeah. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? It's not like a year ago today. In the mood, Em. You guys tricked like some people right? into disappearing. Like the way you're being, you always get like this. He's being a prick. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Ah, alpha male on alpha male. Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. It buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. Yeah, very mature. Kind of hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Still feeling a little creepy, then. Oh, crap. Teenagers are saying what? shit like that. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Oh, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt. Please. She's going back to have a chat with Mike. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. She has got this boy so very good. Thank you. And the bigger bag is most definitely hers. I can guarantee it. <sighs> There's so many people. And who else is being introduced now? Ah, Ashley. Okay, so they both got a crossing, crossing each other, but they haven't actually done anything about this. Interesting. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. I'm not surprised at all by that. Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> Hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, what? Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Dan. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... let me check it out. Yeah, let him have a go. I think it's only fair. Um, sure. Uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Hopefully he doesn't actually knock himself out. Son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Of course Emma? not. I don't know. I... Damn it. She's a manipulative bitch. Not... Let's face it. She deserves everything that comes to her. She was responsible for last year's mishap. Each missing person. Oops. Let's face it. They are probably all going to die. Just because I'm not exactly the friendliest of people when it comes to assholes and bastards like this. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh! Great. Perfect shot. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? A global little snowball fighter. Oh! Ah. Hey! Oh, snap! <laughs> Hello! 
Come on. Hey, Mike. See Boom. Oh. In the back of the head. Okay. <laughs> this is not going to end entirely well. I can guarantee it. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. I'm not going to throw the bar. I've already shot one in the den on the head. It's only fair to let one of them survive. Ow! Oh, right! Yes. And then what? Oh. No more! Oh, oh yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> gotcha! Done! Done city! So, did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Right. Oh, of course. My, my. So Fucking we teenagers. My favor, then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Ah! Yeah, no smooches for you. Oh, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. <laughs> it's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Well, can you bitch? Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. This is just getting ridiculous. Fucking American teens. God damn it. Who's this final little person approaching, I wonder? Hello again. And how are we feeling? Back to the creepy doctor. I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Interesting. But to be perfectly honest, people are me in general, but you know. This is awfully close to me. I don't entirely understand why I'm having to do this, but you know. Neither of these scare me, though. Hmm. It depends on the hands that they're in. They're both a little intimidating. I've already said snakes scare me, so I'll stick with the snakes. Because so neither of them are actually all that scary. Just... Jesus fucking Christ, what the hell? Okay, that picture of the clown is legitimately fucking terrifying. But I've already gone with scarecrows before, so I'll keep some continuity in this. God does not bother me in any shape or any way, shape or form. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. You didn't start me. It was just a surprise seeing you so close up. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. And the more creepy you're being. Spiders aren't creepy at all. Hmm. Clothes aren't really was all that scary, but. Needles don't fight fighting at all. 
the zombies are easy to take care of. I love dogs. I have a, I have a wonderful little pooty of my own. Storms are not scary at all. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Snakes, scarecrows, and crows. <laughs> That's some combination. Sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Your Friday nights aren't very good then. You're very, very creepy. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. This guy is very sinister indeed. Honest, I'm glad I haven't had to deal with any of the spoilers, so I don't know what this guy's deal. But he's not pleasant at all. Hmm. Don't give me a little recap. This is a little bit. Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. Pricks. No! <laughs> First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you. He does family. sound very much like a serial killer now. We'll never forget. For, for the sake of my sisters. Sounds like he's out for revenge. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Slim, she seems like a recap of the stuff. Yeah, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? That feels the same to me. Hmm. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. Interesting. We need to install some cell towers up here. I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. <laughs> hey guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Oh, well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Something awkward, I can imagine. Sounds like flamethrower gas mask guy. Yo, we get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time, you know, like we always. Still. He doesn't sound entirely thing. It's convinced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. He's got a point, but a little less than confident. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. So, how are you doing? It's good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. And on that wonderfully charming note, I shall... Uh, Love you, Olivia. Thank you very much for joining me again. This has been uh, Until Dawn, and I'm the Empty Gamer. Please drop me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe to this channel. It would be wonderful if you did. Thank you very much, and good night.